coming to you live on your chin. Oh, kid. Oh. <laughs> this is the Goon Deep Show. Hail Satan and praise the Dark Lord. Ah. Yeah. Yikes. It's not for everybody. Body for evil, good as dumb, it's my the kid. Going deep. <clears throat> Coughing in your ear. Morning edition of the show. Fiona's with me. What's up, girl? Oh, you know, just struck off one of my fucking six in a row. First of six. Maybe seven. We're going to try to do 12 episodes over the course of the next six days if she has the, the power to do it. Oh, I always got the afterburn. I don't know if I'm going to have the power. I had a scary moment yesterday. Two of them, actually. What happened? I had these, I had like a super sharp, just like pain to my chest. Ooh. Yeah. It was during my baseball game. I'm in the, I'm in right field. Mm hmm. And the, uh, it's like the third inning. I usually pay attention to the, how many outs there are, right? I have to. Baseball, it's like, it's all strategy and chess, like a little chess match, you know? Oh, yeah. Who's on base? Where are you going to throw? All, you got to think ahead, all that kind of shit. So mm-hmm. I'm thinking how many outs. And at one point, I don't give a shit how many outs there are because I just had like a, it, like somebody took a fucking very fine needle and just went and just stuck it in me and then just yanked it out. And then I took a breath. And I was like, okay, I feel all right. But I was still like not thinking about the game. And I had to like ask it at Silverback. I'm like, how many outs are there? So then I, I, I come in after the game, after that inning, I sit down and I said, dude, I said, when I asked you how many outs there were, it's because I couldn't think, man. I was just like out there trying not to fall down and felt like I had to like, I was just a, just a boom. Like it, it, it kind of came in from the, like the left-hand side. It felt, it was like right up here. Yeah. And it was, I was like, holy shit, man. So he's like, really? I'm like, yeah. So it kind of subsided. I kept on hitting, kept on playing, running around like like normal. Yeah. Like then after the game, food's there. Pizza. I'm eating a couple slices of pizza. <laughs> yep. I get in the car, and on the way home, I'm driving. And next thing I know. Hits you again. It hits me again. But it's when I breathe <clears throat> in. I, I take a deep breath. Sharp pain. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay. And then I stop my deep breath. Take a shorter breath. Take a big, take a deep breath again. Same thing. Okay. So it's not cardiac. And then uh, as I slowly take shorter breaths, shorter breaths, it kind of eases it out. Mm-hmm. But man, I was like, what the fuck? Am I having a heart attack? What the fuck's going on with me? No, and- that wouldn't be cardiac related. <laughs> if you can if you can make it happen, it ain't cardiac related. Yeah, I was. I, Especially I was, if you can do it repetitively. Yeah, I was driving and I went and I, I just took a huge breath. It's like, and as I was about halfway through the deep breath, it like came on. And then I stopped and then I did a shorter breath. And I could control, like, how it hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, so I didn't take deep breaths. I just took a, couple, took a lot of shorter breaths until it kind of went away. But Jesus Christ, I got to go get a fucking physical. Sounds like you, sounds like you pulled something or you strained, you strained something in your ribs, I think. I'm fucking crazy. Because if you take a deep breath and you feel it, it sounds like some intercostal... Musculature. When I was a kid, I remember doing this. I like <clears throat> tore some muscles on my ri- on my ribs, mm-hmm. my rib cage, mm-hmm. and I could literally push it back and forth. You could tell the doctor like, mm-hmm. "This is when I was young, when I was in high, high school." Yeah, you might have strained something. I'm fucking old. That's all I, I mean, do know. When you're throwing a fucking human being across the room, fucking for hours and hours and hours, you're <laughs> probably <laughs> doing a workout that you hadn't been doing in it's a while. Or to throw it, yeah, I didn't think of that. Did not think of that. Mm-hmm. Heart rate going up, push ups, yeah. sit ups, yeah, hip thrusts, yeah, the whole nine, yeah, fucking, fucking a, fucking b, fucking, fucking mostly fucking the c though, fucking, <laughs> e. fucking rope shooting, mm. little matrix shit going yeah, on, yeah, yeah. Although she was the one doing the matrix moves. Here's the thing, okay. And, and she's going to hate that I, of course, reveal all these things. But that's fine. That's what life's all about. And be me being hated for revealing real things or fake things you don't know. You think she's going to listen? You don't know. I could be making this up. No, I mean, 
Unless the show notes reveal that, you know. <laughs> Could be, you just never know. So, Endo, the other day, who people are like, oh my God, what, what is this? Is this an old episode? What's going on, you know? Um, we're doing some business. <laughs> quote, unquote, business. <laughs> business. So we went. Here's the thing about this now. I know there's, there's certain people who are in her world that do listen to this. Mm-hmm. And they're going to be like, hey, he's, he's telling you all his dirty secrets again. But they're not really dirty secrets if you don't have any secrets. <laughs> if you don't have any secrets, then really what's her to hide? There's a very, there's something very, I hate to use the word, li, what, what are they say, liberating about it? Yeah. But there is. It's very, very. Freeing. Freeing. Oh, my God. Yeah. When you get nothing held over your head that you have to kind of. Oh, yeah. Imagine that. And you have to be looking over your shoulder all the time. Imagine that. I know. Oh. You, you're a great physician. You're, you are, because you're just starting to get into the. Well, except for when AP listens to old episodes and like, he's like, what did you mean by that? Like calls me specifically to ask me, what did you mean by that? I'm like, I just talking shit. First of all, we don't know what the hell we're even going to talk about. I like how you're leading me into the story, so that's great. You know how we are. <laughs> so I went for a walk with Endo the other day down at the river walk here in town. We initially were going to go out to the to the Topico Marsh. So <laughs> as we're leaving, as I'm getting ready to go, she kind of like all coy has something to say. Mm-hmm. And it's about comparisons of, of uh, your, it must be lovers, your sexual partners, or whatever, okay. doing comparisons and things like oh, this. Oh, Lord Jesus. We all do these things when we're with people. We compare who we're with and what we're, you know, a little bit in our head. And she, she, she she's having a hard time telling me what it is. So I'm, I'm sitting there going, I'm first thinking like dick size, thinking like stamina wise, anything like this. That's what initially pops into a guy's head. Oh, no, head. no, no. So... Because I've had this in the past where, you know, guys, they're, they're, we're, we're simpletons. It's like, his dick's better than my dick, so it's just... We're simpletons in that way. And women like that. Women like the fact that, oh, dude's got a hog. He's rocking a hog. He's got a big old bulge, all these things, right? No, well, um, her, her previous guy... Adequate. That's her, what that's what it needs to be. Adequate. Her previous dude was, according to her, hung like a goddamn horse, and, so, and she didn't hurt her. She Bravo. Said, so... Hey, man, hats off to this guy. He was a handsome dude, too. Handsome guys with big dicks, man. They're fucking, they can get away with a lot of shit. Really. So can mediocre dudes. <laughs> well, yeah, but <laughs> you know handsome and, and, and beautiful women and handsome men get away with a lot of shit. I don't get away with much. Go I'm, give me a break. You do, too. What do I, what do I even, there's nothing. There's shit I fucking get away with. I think it's only on a lack of attempt, though. Don't you think? Well, I mean, yeah, I guess I don't really try. Yeah, I think if you if you really had a game plan and you were, here's what I'm doing tonight, and I'm going to have this and that and this and that, boom, you would have it. That's not me. Mm-mm. I'm not a player. So as we're leaving, she's leading to the fact that she, she, she uses the term <laughs> training them like a puppy, okay, because the guy was a younger guy. So immediately I went to, okay, yeah, he didn't eat y'all good. So, yeah, I nailed it. She's like, oh, yeah. He goes, she goes, is it wrong that when he was doing that, all I could think about is what, about how the, well you did the it. old kiddo here. How well you did it and how, how, how shitty he was in comparison. So my brain, you know, yeah, I loved eating her. She had a nice little puss puss, you know. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay. I said, so what were you thinking? I said, we're well, just going to fucking go at it in the car here? She goes, no. She goes, I was thinking that if I, this is why I tried to encourage you to go to Tobacco because I wanted you to eat me out of the top of the fucking. <laughs> you got to miss that, 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 that side of her there. Oh, I know. Yeah, it was fucking great. It was good. Oh, you did that up there? No, we did not. Oh. No, but, but my brain was like going into. Um, okay, I was going to say. How would we pull that off? There's people wandering out there. They're, they're walking. I'm like, where would sure. you even position? How would you do that? You'd have to. I don't know. So you'd figure it out. Yeah, yeah, we would. When there's a will, there's a way. We always try to figure shit out like that. Yeah. But yeah, it's. I'm trying not to, like, put invest too much of my brain in it. Mm-hmm. I think the year of not hanging out with her has helped me like see all the shit that I did that I. We we strangled the relationship. I guess is the best way to, to say. Sure. Well, yeah. Well, considering that you experienced COVID together, yeah, that that strangled a lot of relationships. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I wouldn't say I strangled mine with AP, but it definitely didn't help. I'm waiting to see your reaction on this one. She stayed over last night. Okay. And wait, my reaction to that? To that, yeah. Oh, okay. You're probably not shocked by that. I'm not shocked by that. No banging though. Whatever, man. Did you snuggle? A little bit. Did you cuddle? A little butt. I had a little Did butt. you get some big spoon, little spoon? A little butt rubbing. Little uh, little spoon. Little spoon, big spoon. Spoon action. Yeah. Big fork, little fork. I think we're both hesitant on uh, anything. I, well, wanna... I mean, you already fucking threw down like for a whole afternoon. Whatever you make. <laughs> well, you're trying. You're trying no, not to get. Some... You're trying not to get back into a relationship. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, where's the, what are the feels? Um, I mean, for her, maybe they're more than what you have, or maybe they're mutually. I think we're mutually hesitant. uh, All right. Tell me this. Last night she said this. She said, uh, just let me know if there's, uh, if you're going to be out banging other people. Just going to ask you that. Yeah. Is it going to be mutually bang exclusive? That, you know what? I think I could pull that off. Without it being a relationship. That's kind of a relationship. Oh, shit. I don't know. Uh, this is going to get dicey, everybody. That's kind of a relationship. Now, with this in mind. Unless, my, it's a ba- unless it's not a bad thing because you've changed. You well, both changed. I think I've learned by watching you getting really super heart invested. Getting, yeah, my heart fucking bulldozed every fucking day. I, I kind of am reemphasizing with her about how we need, we have a little, we have a little infant baby called uh, business that we have to get done and it can help out and sure be our focus. So, but where it gets dicey is like tomorrow I'm going to the concert with Sarah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to lunch with Tammy today. And you're recording with me right now. Right. And, and that's mm-hmm. not, that can't change. It's not going to change. There's say. no way that's changing. You know, you know that's probably part of one of the like one of the reasons why I why I kind of hang on to the other my uh, you know whatever the fuck situation this is is because it's it's an understood thing. I don't have uh-huh. to fucking explain myself. Well, and you're a one dick kind of chick, like you said, didn't it? And he knows that. If you can have that, I think that's that's awesome. That's good. But in your situation, it's you got some extra pieces, extra shrapnel there. <laughs> fucking a, <laughs> you know. Fuck an A. And, and you know what it is? Because you guys both know. It's a kind of a similar situation. You guys both know how good it could be on the other side. Oh, yeah. And sure. we, we both know how shitty it could be on the other side. So we dodge. We're, I'm kind of dodging the, the, the bad parts of the relationship. It, it was good to have the time apart. I really do. Mm-hmm. I think I really think it, you know. Well, you both experience feelings for other people, too. And you had opportunities to, you know, kind of like branch out. It was a certain comfort to. I mean, you had your heart broken by little orphan a little bit. A little bit, yeah. You had your heart broken by. I got a lot of broken heart. The little what's her nuts and the fucking whatever the fuck. The Clio chick. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I've been trying to come up with a nickname for her, but I just don't even give a shit. Uh, Ghosty. Ghosty McGhosterton. Clio Quickie. <laughs> it wasn't even a quickie. I didn't get anything. Well, I mean, you fingered her and shit. She grabbed my dick a couple times. That was about it. Clio Cock Grabber? Cl- fucking. Cock Knocker. Cock fucking. Clio oh. Cock Knocker. Cock fucking sucker. Not, not sucker. That bitch was hot, though. She was, she was really good looking. She was really fucking good looking. I know. Like, woo, 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 woo. Woo, like, woo. Good, good lord. Good fucking lord. See, okay, so this is the scenario now. Let's say I gotta just keep, I gotta just stay single. That's all there is to it. I can't I can't get into a relationship. I just cannot. That's not a good idea. I don't I don't know. I don't know. But you can maybe avoid calling this that. Maybe perhaps per- possibly. <laughs> the thing is, you know as well as I do. You get physical with shit. You done fucked. The feels. The feels. But. Here's the other thing. With that in mind, you're more comfortable knowing you are with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? As I get older, I'm much more comfortable. (laughs) Fuck you. I'm, you know what? You know, you do, you just, you realize, okay, everybody's got a pass. As we get older, our pass gets larger and huger and bigger. Honestly, 
My fucking brain is more fucked up than it is than it's ever been in my entire life. And we talked about this the other day, like at our age, did you ever think we're going to be thinking like fucking in, in middle school kids? No. Like we're dealing with the same shit that my 14 year old's dealing with Fuck probably. No. She's like fucking no. Mm-mm. no. And the problem is not me. Mm-mm. It's definitely not you. You know what you want. You're not the kind of person to beat around the bush. You're, you're like the most decisive person I think of a woman I've met. Cause women for the most part are pretty indecisive. Where do you want to go to eat? I don't know. Fuck that shit. Let's go to goddamn Habibi to fucking Indian food. <laughs> you know what? I'm not in the mood for fucking this. Let's do that. Hey, we made a decision. Let's fucking stick to it. Right. Oh, God, that shit would drive me nuts. Hey, let's go to fucking TGI Fridays. Hey, you know what? But we could also go to... We just said fucking TGI Fridays. Let's go to that motherfucker right now. Let's just fucking go. When I, every time I see a guy who's indecisive, I'm just like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Did you grow up in a house of all women? Did well, you, a single mother? I mean, like, what in the fuck? Possibly. So that, to me, says a lot. Potentially. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. I know what the fuck I want. I've known what the fuck I've wanted. I don't know if it's the right thing for me. But here we are. Here I am. Here I here I fucking am. We're we're to the point now where we're comfortable making the wrong decisions still. Oh, as long as we're making a goddamn decision. Fucking I made a decision. Fucking it is what it is. If it doesn't fucking work, fucking fucking whatever. Sleep in the bed you lie or, or that you make, right? This is the fucking bed I made and here I am fucking rolling around like a goddamn hog in fucking grease. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like I feel like I feel like you remember like going to the fair? This happened. This was it would happen in Taos. They did this in Taos. Remember the fair where they grease the fucking pig, uh-huh. and everybody tried to catch the pig. Yeah, I feel like Bronny's the fucking pig. <laughs> he's a greasy little pig, and he's running around, and he's just fucking like squealing and fucking ran, 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 fucking running away all greasy and shit, and like you, you fu- like I fucking get a grip, fucking on his little ass, and he fucking <laughs> fucking slides out, slips right away. You know, and the fucking. The gremlin fucking, she just sits there and fucking scratches her head, goes, fucking, I don't know. She's, you know. she's the owner where the pig goes in. That's a little, he's got it's the a little, little pig door. Little carrying case. Yeah, they lift the door. <laughs> pig goes into the kit. <laughs> goes into the you know, little case and then it, they, and, they and, load it up into the truck and take it home. To f- you know, and then you got the psycho been fucking trying to grab the greasy pig for like the last couple of years. I don't fucking well, We got to fill up. Nobody knows about that situation. And I don't even know. I don't, even, a, I don't even know how we can even bring that up. I think that that's like that a... That calls for a whole different episode. Yeah, that's like a fake Friends episode. Maybe we'll do that in the second one. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, it's a story. It's a, it's a continuing fucking story. Yeah. Oh, you know what? She friended GDS, didn't she? Yeah, but I think I blocked her. Yeah, but she can still look up the fucking podcast. Yeah. Ooh. I did, I think. I, 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 you told me to like not do that, not friend that. Well, I don't think it's a good idea. No. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. If she's I want her to come it. in the studio here. I kind of want her to also. I'd like to get her perspective. I'll be like, first question, how big are them fake titties? How big are them fake titties? She much- has got a very nice body. She's got a pretty tight body. Yeah. She's got Guys a great be- body. Here's, here's what it is. She's Guys can put up with... Uh, and really nice hair. Three, no, two out of three, is that what it is? Ass face, no titties. Titties, ass, mediocre face. Which is her. <laughs> hey, the beauty is in there. I have the beer holder. The beer, beer holder, <laughs> right? Whatever. The beer goggler. <laughs> Whatever. You know, I mean, not everybody is everybody's cup of tea. No. Right? No. There's much more of, the, of this to come on this next one, though, for sure. Fucking A. What do you think about this new studio? We're downtown. Oh, yeah, we are downtown. It's a little messy, but we're going to figure it out. It's going to be good here. We're down at the new studio. We, got, we have a lot of locations to record now. Yes, we do. Let's we haven't done my layer in a while. Yes, and the stuff's all there to do. And the weather is beautiful. We should do an outdoor show. We could. This would that, how would that go for, like, sound? It would be kind of cool to get all the environment, the crickets and the... Little birds yeah. chirping and shit, unless yeah. you do a nighttime, then it's the frogs and... It can't be any worse than your kids running in and going like, Mom! Mom! You call me gay! <laughs> you know, I screamed so loud at fucking Blue Pie number two, I fucking peed a little bit <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> you were on the phone with me when I did it. Everybody chill to the next one. <laughs> Lots of pee. We're going to talk more pee later. <laughs>